But first, if you're trying to lose weight, here's a tip for you. Stop starving yourself and stop counting calories. Me yelling at. I know. Me Tell me you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, okay. Mark McDonald is here. He's Chelsea Handler's nutritionist and the author of Body Confidence. And Mark is here to bust some of the top nutrition and exercise myths. Look at look at the guns on this man. <laughs> you got to believe anybody that's guns <laughs> like that. Hi, Mark. Good to have you here. Thanks for Welcome. having me. One more hug. He Give me a, a big hug one. Mm -hmm. What are we going to okay, do, too? No, hugs. we want? Okay. I got I'll, hugs. Get you I'll get you, you yeah. after. Yeah. Okay, so Chelsea's a good friend of yours. Yes. Normally, I know that, you know, you guys like to drop secrets yeah. and tell what your clients are doing, but we asked ahead of time if you could tell us a little something, something. What are you doing for her? What's working for her? What does she like? Can you tell us yeah. anything? The big thing with Chelsea is that she came to me because she, she, really, she really didn't understand food. And most people, you know, they know how to eat healthy, but they don't really understand how to put it all together. Yeah. So she was focused on dieting, exercising for about hours. So we really dialed in her nutrition, got her blood sugar stable, created balance with her body so her hormones were in check. That released her stored fat and then optimized her exercise. And those two combined with learning how to make the alcohol work into her day, took her body to <laughs> That's a big thing. I love that because yeah. I wanted to ask you. Yeah. I wouldn't guess Chelsea is a very disciplined person when it comes to food and everything. Is she, she is, though. She, really? Because well, when you drink like Chelsea, she likes to drink a little bit. <laughs> she admits it. She does, she and does. she likes like to eat in restaurants. So when you're, when you're doing that off stuff, you have to be really good with your food and really good with your exercise. She is the most disciplined person when it comes wow. to that. She travels. She's really on it. She makes it a priority. That's why I really wanted her at the Ford. Because she's an inspiration to wow. people. Go okay, girl. look, if yeah. she can do that with the alcohol, I see I have a problem with sweets. I like yeah. candy. Can I still work out a little diet if I like candy? Of course. Don't, oh, I, I like that. I love pizza so. and ice cream. It's my favorite. Okay, yeah. so yeah, we got to talk more. So then yeah. we're going to bust a couple of the top nutrition and exercise myths. All right, the first one, you ready? A lot of people think that you have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight, that it's all about the calories. Is yeah. that true or false? That is false. That okay. is, that the, the, the reality is that when you look at deficits, when is deficit ever a good thing? You know, if your bank account's right. low, eventually you have to pay it back. Calories work the same way. Diets work because they help you drop weight. But you hit a plateau that you can't break through, your body shuts down. The way you solve it is you stabilize your blood sugar. Rather than using food to lose weight, you use it to create internal balance by si three simple things. Eating every three to four hours, about five to six meals a day, the right amount of protein, fat, carbohydrates, and the right calories per meal. That gets your blood sugar going, your hormones balanced, and releases your stored fat 24 hours a day. Oh, okay. okay. Here's a big one because this is one I actually thought was true. Turns out that it's not. <laughs> Eating before bed. Does it cause you to gain weight, or do you need to be eating the right things before bed? It is false. It does not cause you to, to mm. gain weight. But if you stabilize your blood sugar, if you never spike your blood sugar and overeat, it's impossible to store fat. So it, you can eat before bed. You just have to eat the right okay, foods. Okay, so well, on this table, if I'm hungry and it's bedtime, yeah. what should I eat? So simply, you have some Greek yogurt right here, which is protein and fat. If it's low fat, get low fat Greek yogurt. And by simply having some blueberries or nectarine with that, that gives you protein, fat, carbohydrates, keeps your blood sugar stable, and actually makes you release fat when you sleep. See, that's my uh, problem because at night, I wouldn't be looking at any of this. I'd be going yeah. to grab a Snickers, some ice cream, something fun. Yeah. And, you know, that's not good for you. So it's all about what you're choosing to eat at yeah. night before you mm -hmm. go to bed. Well, and a lot of that Snickers and ice cream is caused from missing meals throughout the day. That would do it. Yep. <laughs> that's me. That, that you crave that deficit. And yeah. when you're hungry, you're not craving chicken or tuna. No. Anything, you, anything. Exactly. You want okay. the bad stuff. Yeah. Okay, right. let's talk cardio because, uh, you know, I go to the gym. Sometimes I get my Kindle out, mm -hmm. I'm reading it, yeah. and I know that's not a great workout. But is all cardio really created equal if I run versus the elliptical? Once, once equal? again, it's false. Uh. That when you look at the two things with cardio that matter, you have two types of muscle fibers. You have red muscle, which is like your treadmill, when you're steady, when oxygen's present, walking. And then you have your white fiber, about 50% of your body, which is like high intensity cardio. Mm -hmm. So most people only do one type of cardio. So the first thing is you want to make sure that you're doing fat burning cardio and high intensity Someone's cardio. Doing cardio back mm -hmm. back. That, that's me at the gym falling over. <laughs> so simply, if you're walking 30 minutes on, if you're doing like sprints, you would go one minute explosion, recover. Do that for 30 minutes and then follow that with 30 minutes of fat burning. You'll burn about 30 to 40 percent more fat. Then the last thing, like the elliptical trainer, that's a non-impact movement. Oh. It doesn't recruit the same amount of muscle. Food stabilizes your blood sugar, releases stored fat, exercise burns it up. So with exercise, you want to recruit maximum muscle fibers. Walk on a treadmill, pump it up to 15 percent, don't hold on. That's going to give you probably a 30 percent better workout in the same time. So don't do the elliptical. Well, 
if you have an injury. But if you really want to take it to the next level, be it's not about doing more. It's about being better at what you do. Empty stomach, though. When you go to the gym, a lot of people say you should work out an empty stomach. Yeah, I shouldn't be right. Well, you will burn fat. But this, your body's a refuel as it goes machine. So whenever you miss a meal. Your body, it can't use fat for fuel, so it has to burn its muscle. That affects your metabolism. So it's not, you have to make sure you eat before exercise, but once again, you might, a lot of people need to eat something light. So you can eat a half a protein bar, like you can eat some cottage okay. cheese with some fruit. Have something you, in You have something that's got protein, fat, carbohydrates. All right. Thank yeah. you, Mark. I, can I have good. this? Because I have yes. a feeling this is going to be my you, new go-to book. And I'm going right. to help you. I brought you both a copy. So Yay, we're going to walk and you. roll. All right. Thank you. Here, give it. me my hug. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Matt. Thank All right. Don't forget to pick uh, up a copy of Mark's book. It's called Body Confidence. You yes. can't have mine. <laughs>